was young, and I have to get out and kick up my heels every once in a while. <laughs> and thanks to the bluegrass music. I live in Iceville, North Carolina. I've been having bluegrass jamming sessions here every Thursday night for over 60 years. We just have people from everywhere, musicians. They play mountain music and gospel music, and they just have a good time. They have mandolins and guitars and fiddles. We have eats out there, pies and cookies and coffee. And people just come to make music and dance and have a good time. My husband, Wayne, was a music person. He played guitar and mandolin, and he built instruments. Wayne built the music house in 1976. He played the mandolin and the guitar out there. When Wayne died in 1984, we uh, still carry on with the music that he made, he built. We've lost a lot of our older musicians, but they left good memories. I enjoy the young people, because when the old ones are gone, if they don't carry on, it will die out. This music, it really, it really helps you. It makes you get your worries off your mind and just be comfortable. That's the way I want them to be. I look forward to it and enjoy every minute of it. And I'm going to keep it going as long as I live. If I'm not able, they'll carry me out there. <laughs> Oh, you know.